Hey guys, I'm Leeway Previs, this is Vent, and today we see the end of one of the most emotionally charged um, cases to have occurred both last year and this year, with the arrest and charging of Eliza Baker, with the murder of her stepdaughter, Zara Baker. Now, apparently she had been on the police's radar for pretty much since the start. Alright? Um, mostly because of the fact that she'd been obstructing justice um, with the case with and also with the um, fake ransom letter, but all right, that'll that if you've seen my show before, you would probably know that already, since it was done in a earlier video. But what makes it interesting now is the fact that um, after her arrest, a lot of other things started to come out, like. Um, there were claims of her mistreating Zara severely, like she abused her physically, emotionally, and psychologically. And even deprived her of food and nutrition, according to an earlier report. Basically, I can't think of any real mother step of biological or otherwise, who would wantonly mistreat their baby without an intention of destroying their life. I do know that some, some exist, but most, as far as I know, I don't know what goes on in their head. I have no clue at all. And, yeah, this is just another example of too little, too, well, the too little, too late attitude that seems to come about when it comes to child abuse. Alright? We do not need another Zara Vega. Okay? Realistically, these kids are our future, and if we don't treat them well in their formative years, then <sighs> realistically, this is one of the I'm actually really infuriated right now. Alright. I don't know what to say anymore. Basically, my pauses pretty much say, say everything that I feel. Alright. I'm disgusted that this would happen, and I'm disgusted that it still does. Basically, this case kind of brings forward the fact that we need to change things. And we need to try and make sure that stuff like this does not happen again. Okay. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's just move straight on. Okay, now after that nice little article we're going to go straight into the madness ride, and yes, today's article is going to be a tip of the hat to the Facebook generation, and especially a tip that's taken a little bit too literally. A child in Egypt has named 
their daughter Facebook. Now, this is about as bad as um, selling the naming rights to your daughter, son or daughter online, or setting up a Facebook group to name your son or daughter this name. This takes... This just takes it to a new extreme. Alright? Yes, Facebook is one of the greatest, one of the biggest things to come out of the web, but it's not that big that you have to name your child after the site itself. Founders? Okay, maybe. The site itself? <laughs> Alright, now it's time for news from my phone. And today's news from my phone is another one from Germany. This time it's naked sledging. And yes, that means, well, it, naked sledging is kind of a misnomer. They actually get out there in their underwear and they basically went down a sled, a sled ramp on a sled. And of course this is the second crazy competition to come out of Germany in about as many weeks. Um, last week, as most of you would remember, they had the Moose Calling Championships in Dortmund. Now they have naked sledging in the Haas region. And I'm just trying to comprehend what goes through the Germans' minds. I mean, they're almost as wacky as the Japanese in their game shows. Today's question is what do you think of the parents who called their child after a site? And would you do the same thing yourself? Leave your comments down below and if you want to subscribe, just click the button up here. Um, if you want to contribute anything to the show, just click on this box here and it will take you to YouTube's messaging service. Now, before we go, again, time for me to give you the must-do this week. First one, I Am Number Four has come out this week, or last week. Yeah, it came out last week. Um, and I've actually seen the trailer for it. And I'm intrigued. I actually want to go see it myself. If I can find it. If, if they're playing it at my cinema. But yes, check out I'm Number 4. Looks pretty interesting. Um, kind of superhero genre taken to... Taken on a different tangent. Um, secondly, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras is coming up this week. Or, uh, it's actually on this week been going on for about two or three days. Um, there's still a week and a half to go until the actual parade itself, but they're organising events for most of this month, or they've organised events for most of this month, so I, if you haven't gotten yourself down to Sydney yet, I would suggest you do so. If you're unable to join in the Mardi Gras celebrations, then I would suggest you make a Say Something video um, about gay and lesbian rights in Australia or arguing for gay and lesbian rights in Australia. I've actually done mine, and it'll be, and it's linked in the um, checkbox for say something. So definitely get your cameras out, make your own. Um, if you want to see what I do, click on mine. Um, also check out the Mardi Gras um, channel for more say something videos, and. Yeah. Get basically get creating. Until next time, I'm Lee Ware Previs. This is Vent, and I'll see you all next week.